There are three types of arrays in PHP. Indexed, also known as numeric, associative, and multidimensional. This short video will introduce all three and provide examples of how to work with them. Both indexed and associative arrays get their names from how the values in the array are indexed or kept track of in PHP. As with other data in the web sphere, data in arrays are stored in key value pairs. However, and this is important, sometimes the key is invisible to the human eye. Consider this simple indexed or numeric array. While there are three elements, key value pairs, in the array cars, the keys are invisible to us. However, PHP has assigned a numeric key to each value behind the scenes. All PHP numeric keys begin with zero and proceed from there. This means that the key for Subaru is zero, Hyundai is one, and Chevy is two. If you want to view the contents of the car's array, you might think you could echo it, but that would be wrong. Instead, to see the contents of an array, purely for testing purposes, you can use the PHP function of var dump, and then send it the name of the array, or print underscore r, and again, send it the name of the array. Both display all of the key value pairs within the array and provide information about the array itself. However, if you wanted to display a single value from the array, you could write an echo statement followed by the array name and then in square brackets indicate the index or the key of the value that you want. For example, if we wanted to see Hyundai, we would write echo dollar sign cars square bracket one close bracket semicolon. Because the first item has a key of zero and the second item has a key of one and Hyundai is the second item. The second type of PHP array is an associative array. In this case, the keys are all strings. For example, let's create an array of fruits by color. A red fruit could be a strawberry, while a yellow fruit could be a lemon, and a green fruit could be a grape. Notice that the color is the key and the fruit is the value. Within an array, the double arrow symbol, equal sign, greater than, is the operator that associates the key with the value. As with our numeric array, if we want to see a particular fruit, we would have to echo the array and within square brackets the specific key, such as echo, dollar sign fruits, brackets, and because it's a string it would have to be quoted, quote, red, quote, square bracket, semicolon. The result should be strawberry. Finally, in PHP, a multidimensional array is an array of arrays. For example, we can create a new array named new array and place both of our previous arrays inside of it like this. Dollar sign new array equals square bracket dollar sign cars comma space dollar sign fruits close bracket, semicolon. The new array is now an array of arrays. Specifically, it is a two by three array, meaning that it has two arrays within it, and each of those arrays has three elements. This can be depicted as a table. Here is the part where many people get lost. Is the new array array numeric or associative? Pause the video, think about it for a minute, and try to answer before pressing play again. What did you answer? If you answered numeric, you would be right. Because we didn't provide a specific key for our two subarrays when we added them to new array, PHP did it for us. Our table could now be shown as this. Why is this important? Because when we want to get a value out of the array to display it, we have to know how to identify the value and that means we must know the key. For example, 
To get Chevy, we have to know the name of the array, in this case, new array. We have to know which subarray it's in, zero because it's the first subarray, and we need to know its actual key, two because it is the last element in the subarray. So we would write echo dollar new array square bracket zero close bracket open bracket two close bracket semicolon. More often than not, we want to get all of the values in an array and embed them into some HTML in order to display them on a web view. For that, the PHP for each loop is an easy solution. The reason it is so handy is that it works equally well with numeric and associative arrays. For example, if we wanted to create an ordered list of our cars array, we could write the code shown in the video. Notice that the ordered list is begun and ended outside of the loop, while the loop builds the list items. Rather than using an echo statement for each step of the build, we instead use an assignment operator at the beginning and an append operator, for example, dot equals, for each subsequent step. When the entire list is finished, we can then echo the variable and the entire list is displayed. We can repeat the process using an unordered list with the fruits array. Again, notice that the for each loop works flawlessly. Finally, we can display the elements within a multidimensional array by using a loop inside of a loop. In this example, I will build an unordered list for the new array and an ordered list for the subarray elements within it. You may want to pause the video and look at the code to make sure you understand what is happening when it is done. As before, I start and end the unordered list outside of the loops. In the outer loop, I use the for each to break the inner arrays apart and show me the key for the inner arrays, which should be 0 and 1, and store each array into a variable named subarray. Within the outer loop, I then build the list item and display some text to see the key of the subarray, and then build the ordered list opening and closing tags. Within the ordered list opening and closing tags, I place the inner loop to build the list items for each element in the subarray. It seems a little complicated, but you will start to get the hang of it as you try your hand at writing code like this and examining the results carefully. It will probably take a few tries, but you can do it. That's arrays in PHP. Remember that an array is simply a variable that holds more than one value. Each value has a key, even if you don't give it one. Data retrieved from databases via a query are always delivered as an array. Data sent to a database is always in a key value pair format. So there are lots of overlapping concepts.